and welcome to Daily Devotion for today, 26th of November, 2023. God bless you. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you this morning for another opportunity of coming before you this morning. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness that is unequaled. We return all the praise unto you. May all the glory, honor, adoration be ascribed unto you. Father, we go into your word briefly this morning. You will speak with us expressly even today in the name of Jesus. See, that's a new thing, O oh Lord, that will elevate our lives. And at the end of everything this day, Lord, let all glory be ascribed back unto your holy name. Holy Spirit, have your way. Open our understanding and open our hearts that we may receive of you. So that at the end, we will have every reason to return our praise unto you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory be to your holy name. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Our topic for this morning is the wonders of praise. The wonders of praise. The wonders of praise. Our memory verse is taken from Psalm number 22 and verse number 3. And I read, But thou art holy, O thou that inhabit the praises of Israel. Our motivational quote for this morning is You can pray amiss, but cannot praise, praise amiss. Praise will bring the most eye into the situation. So, no matter what situation you are going through, probably if you don't understand what to pray about, you cannot praise amiss. Prophetic word for today. Beginning from today, you will never experience, you will. Beginning from today, you will experience the wonders of praise in all areas of your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And our first scripture is taken from 2 Chronicles chapter number 20 and verse number 20 to 30. Chronicles, 2 Chronicles chapter number 20 and verse number 20 to 30. The wonders of praise the wonders of praise. There is power in praise. There is power in praise. There is power in praise. I really need to emphasize this and that's why I've, uh, you know, I've repeated it like the third time. There is power in praise. Sometimes when you pray, when you pray, Pray and answers are not coming to what you are asking of from the Lord. Sometimes it is very, very important that you look back and go to praise. Like what uh, our motivational quote said this morning, that you can pray amiss, but you cannot. You can pray amiss, but you cannot pray amiss. That means no matter what, no matter what it is, sometimes you may be praying and you're not praying in the right direction. You are not eating it at the point where you, you need to eat it. But when you are praising, the heavens are rejoicing. The heavens are open. You are, when you praise, what you are doing is that you are inviting God himself to come down. That is what you do when you praise. That God, I have done everything. I need your presence. What brings the presence of God is praise. That means God leaves the throne, his throne in heaven, and he comes down to commune with you when you praise. And there is never any time that God appears in your situation. When you praise and he comes down into your situation, there is no way that what you are asking for will not come to you. No, it can never. It can never fail when you praise. Where prayer fails, praise cannot fail. I'm not telling you that prayers fail, but I'm saying where you pray and answers are not coming, praise brings God down. And when God appears, there is no way, there is no way, I repeat emphatically, there is no way that there will not be solution to that problem. I'll give you a very simple example. That you are in trouble and uh, you have looked around, you need uh, money to get a situation solved, or you are a child of a particular man, a wealthy man. Okay, let's take, for example, the president of this nation. Child of the president of this nation has looked around for something to get that thing and that, those things are not coming. 
And for one reason or the other, he has the opportunity of getting his phone and calling his father. Immediately, his father appears in that position. What happened? Things must change. I'm using a typical example of a president of a nation. But God is the president of the whole universe. So when you praise and you bring the presence of that president of the whole universe, tell me where, by, how come you will not get what you want? What prayer sometimes cannot give to you? Praise gives it to you. Exodus chapter number 15 and verse number 11 says, Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. That means when you praise, wonders will happen. Hallelujah. When you praise, wonders happen. Hmm. When you praise, wonders happen. The scripture reminds us that when we praise God in righteousness, when we praise God in holiness, when we praise God with our own heart, with the cleanest of our heart, there is no way that wonders will not happen. When you praise Him, heaven is torn open. And when the heavens are torn open, there is no way the presence of God will descend. You will find out that most of the times, before you go into the messages, you typically look at our Father in the Lord. Dr. Daniel Kola Wale Olukoya. When he gets on the pulpit, the first thing he does is to give quality praise to God. You will always see that he has another praise team that will always be by him, you know. The praise God. What praise does is that it brings down the presence of God. When the presence of God comes into any situation, that situation bows. Wonders happen. Miracles happen. Praise is powerful. Praise is powerful. He manifests his fearfulness in every situation when you praise him. The Bible says that God inhabits our praises. And that is all he gets from us. That is all he gets. You can't give, you will contribute money in church, you give your offering, you give your tithe. God does not eat your offering, he doesn't eat your tithe. Like a songwriter, Yoruba says, that he doesn't eat your pounded yam, he doesn't eat your spaghetti, he doesn't eat your jollof rice, he doesn't eat your chicken. The only thing that you give to him that he eats from you is your praise. That's the only thing you give to him. That's the only thing he takes from you. So why would you take it away from him? Are you telling me that if you don't give God praise, it's like you are starving him of what you are supposed to give to him? Yes, you give your thighs, you give your offering. Fantastic. Yes, they bring about blessings to you. Fantastic. But all those things, they will not do what praise will do. Praise is powerful. Praise is powerful. It brings down the presence of God. And when there is his presence, nobody will be able to stand. All we can give to God is our praise. No man must share that praise with him. No man. That's what the Bible says. No man will share that praise with him. I'll give you another, another example. All the musicians of the world, you know, sometimes they give praises to people. They praise you. They, give, they elogize you. They do all of that. Some people spend the last money in their account. I've seen situations whereby people go to parties and musicians begin to praise them, give praises to them and all of that. Some will go and call their bank manager to open the bank so that they can get more money to spread to that person. Listen, if you can do that, if a man can praise a man and a man is giving so much to that man, when you praise God, what do you get from him? What do you get from him? If a man, just an ordinary man, mortal, created by God, can pick a microphone, sing and praise man that is created like him. And that man, I see people give cars. I see people remove their car key and trek to their homes because a man has praised them. When you praise God, what do you get in return? You get what no man can get. You get what is equal to, to, to what is equal, what is not equal to any man, what any man can give you. Praise tears the heaven open for your sake. Are you a praiser or a player? Do you praise him from, your, from the bottom of your heart? It goes beyond just singing. It has to be from the depth of your heart. It has to be from the depth of your body. It has to be with all your spirit, soul and body. 
That is the only place where you can get God. You cannot praise God when you are not holy. The, 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 the Bible says we bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. You can only bring that sacrifice of praise and bring the hands of the Lord down only when you do it with holiness. Hallelujah. Praise brings the hands of God down. It opens the heaven and it shows the presence of God. We'll be back shortly. God bless you. Two bottles of oil. 24 hours of fasting. It's going to be a double invasion of the power of God. Two in one. It's the great deliverance and anointing service of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. And the December edition of Power Must Change Hands 2023. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live from the international headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. Don't miss this yoke-breaking, life-changing, destiny catapulting program. For the power of God will take cognizance of every individual. December PMCH and the Great Deliverance and Anointing Service 2023. Come receive a parcel that will make a difference before the end of the year. December 2nd, 2023. 0700 WAT. Jesus. Is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. God bless you and welcome back. Like I have ex exhausted, I have been mean, explained. Praise is something that you cannot overemphasize. The power of praise is what we cannot overemphasize. It's something that we cannot overemphasize. And the quality of praise that you give determines the kind of blessings that follows it. Like I said before we go on, the short, on that short break, that the kind of praise that you give to God determines the kind of quality of what you get back from Him. If you give quality praise from, to Him from the bottom of your heart, if you give quality praise to Him you know, from the in-depth of your heart, not from your lips, then you, you begin to see the hands of God. You begin to see the manifestation of His power. But when you praise Him without holiness, there is always, there is always the, the assurance that you will not get the best from Him. You can only get the best from God when you praise Him with pure heart and with truthful of holiness inside of you. When you praise God, when you are not holy, when you praise God, not in holiness, the heavens cannot be opened. The Bible says his eyes cannot behold any sinner. There is no how you will praise him when you are a sinner and you expect that the heavens will open. I see some people who say, we have prayed, nothing has happened, we, nothing has happened, we have praised, nothing has happened. Then you go back, you go and check yourself. That means there must be something that you are still holding back in your hands. Probably your heart is not clean. Probably you are still holding grudges against people. Probably you are falling into one sin or the other. You cannot praise him because the Bible says his eyes cannot behold sin. So there is no reason whereby a sinner will praise him and you will expect to get something from him. As much as praise is very important, the wonders of praise, there is wonders that follow praise and all of that. It goes beyond you just singing, drumming and all of that. It goes beyond that. Some churches, they don't care. They get a drummer, they will get a guitarist, they will get a keyboardist that just finished smoking in their hand, that just finished doing this, that are just doing, doing that. They rent uh, instrumentalists and all of that. They bring them, they come into the church, they give praises. At the end of the day, they just dance in and they dance out. Nothing follows. Because those that have played the instrument of praise to the Lord, are they clean? Are they clean? Is the praises that is coming from that throne, is it the praises that is acceptable to God? It is beyond giving praises. It is giving praises with holiness. It is giving praises with holiness. If you look at from the Bible study that we had this morning and our memory verse of today, we saw the fearful acts of God when His people praise Him. 
The power of praise to the Most High cannot be overemphasized. When you have prayed and fasted and there is no result, just praise God. God will come into the situation and fight for you when you praise Him. When you pray, when you fast and there is no situation, there is only one thing that is left, praise. There is no how you will praise God that heaven will not be open. Heaven will open. And when the heavens are open, that means the eyes of God is directly upon that situation. And when the eyes of God is upon your situation, that situation, no matter how fierce that situation is, it can never remain. Hallelujah. When you praise genuinely with holiness, whatsoever that problem that you have prayed, about and nothing has happened when you praise and the heavens are turned open listen to me there is no way that problem will continue to exist it can never it can never continue to exist praise swallows problem praise brings about wonders that is why we are looking at the wonders of praise a lot of wonders follows praise when you praise, there is wonder that follows. Hallelujah. I know a young man, a young girl, who joined this ministry, as Mountain of Fire in 20, uh, 2009. She had a lot of problems and battles, and she did, she did not know the source. After counseling, she embarked on 21 days praise. She prayed no prayer apart from praise and thanksgiving. She did, she did that for two hours every day. One hour in the morning and one hour at night. Beloved, on the first day, she had a very deep revelation that exposed the source of her battles. God was able to handle that battle. Somebody that has battled with a problem that the source of the problem is not known. And back on the 21 days, 21 days, no prayers, nothing, not asking anything of God, just praising God. On the first day of praise, God appeared and the problem was revealed to this young woman. What is that problem that you are facing? That you have prayed and there has not been any solution. What is that problem that is facing you? That you have prayed and there is no solution. What is that situation that you are facing? That you have prayed and there is no solution. Listen to me. Praise opens heaven. And when the heavens are opened, I emphasize again, God comes down. And when God comes down, listen to me, your situation can never remain the same. Wonders follow when God comes down. We are looking at wonders of praise. Wonders of praise. In this story, beloved on the first day, said a deep revelation that exposed the source of a battle came up. It took praises to show her the deep secret. When you praise God, deep secrets are shown unto you. When you praise God, deep secrets are shown unto you. Listen, I emphasize again, not just praising God because you think when you sing, you know, you just come out, they will bring the sacrifice of praise unto the Lord. No, it goes beyond that. You need to praise with holiness and from the depth of your heart. Let God see that you are praising Him with everything, every of your being, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Let every part of your body feel that you are praising Him. Every part of your body, let that feel be there, that you are praising with everything inside of you. There is no how, no matter how deep that secret that has tormented you for years are, no matter how that problem that has weighed you down for years are, no matter how difficult that situation of I've not gotten a job has put you into, try God another way. You have prayed, you have fasted, nothing has happened. There is always a way out. Listen, like I said earlier, it is not that we are saying that prayers and fasting does not work. At the point you pray to a point and you find out that you are not getting the, the desired result, praise. Praise. And praise goes beyond from your lips. It must come from your heart. It must come from your total being. 
Your total body, soul, and spirit must feel that you are praising. Everything within you must join, join you in praising him when you are praising. Not just on the surface of your face, of your lips, and of your body. No. From the in-depth of it all, let God know that you are praising. Let it be quality. Let it be quality. Nothing more. Like I said in the first segment here, that it never hits your food. No matter how best, best you can cook, no matter how good you can cook, you can never prepare that food and give to God. No. It's only one thing that you give to Him. Your praise. Like the songwriter says, waiting I go give to you my praise. You don't take money. What I will give to you, my praise. You will not eat my food. What will I give to you, my praise? It goes a long way. It goes a long way. Your praise goes a long way to really acknowledge God and to open the windows of heaven for your sake. It goes a long way to open the windows of heaven for your sake. Are you praising Him? Have you ever even gathered with your family and said this morning or today, you are not going to ask anything of the Lord. The only thing we want to give to Him today is to give praise unto Him. We want to give thanks unto Him. I keep telling it to people. Some things make is some of the Western world to be unique. If a country can choose a day and say this day is a Thanksgiving day, Hallelujah. If a country can choose a day and say today, you know, is a day that we want to give thanks to God, nothing more. It's only thanks that we want to give to God. They respect that day more than Christmas. They respect that day more than New Year. They respect it more than anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They respect it more than any, anything. United States of America, the last day, the last uh, 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 Friday in, in, in November is always a Thanksgiving. How will God not open the heavens for them? Hallelujah. I'll be back shortly. Let's go on a short break. God bless you. Two bottles of oil. 24 hours of fasting. It's going to be a double invasion of the power of God. Two in one. It's the great deliverance and anointing service of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries and the December edition of Power Must Change Hands 2023. Dr. D.K. Olu the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live from the International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. Don't miss this yoke breaking, life changing, destiny catapulting program for the power of God will take cognizance of every individual. December PMCH and the Great Deliverance and Anointing Service 2023. Come receive a parcel that will make a difference before the end of the year. December 2nd, 2023. 0700 WAT. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. God bless you and welcome back. We are looking at the wonders of praise for today. Wonders of praise. There are wonders attached to praise. We give you an example that where prayer fails, praise will not fail. When you praise, the heavens are turned open for your sake. When the heavens are turned open, God descends. When God descends, there is no situation that will not be swallowed when the presence of God descends. No matter where the secret is, you know, behind any problem that is around you, when you praise, there is always a way out. Jehoshaphat had no power to fight the nations that were coming against him. He took it to God and commanded Judah to fast unto the Lord. And a prophecy came forth that killed their fear. They only had it to thank God and praise Him. And they found all their enemies dead when they got to the battlefield. <laughs> they have declared fasting. Jehoshaphat has declared fasting. He had declared prayer. But the prophecy of the Lord came that you are wasting your time. 
for this particular battle. I know that you pray. I know that you can fast. I know that when you pray and when you fast, things happen. But for this particular battle, I don't need your prayer. I don't need your fasting. Just go and praise me. When you praise me, you will see what will happen. When you praise me, what will happen? You will see and it will marvel you. It is, it is, it is something that naturally you will look at that. What, what, what kind of prophecy is this? We have prayed, we have fasted, nothing is happening. You are saying we should go and praise. But God is a miraculous God. He does his own things the way he feels, you know, things can be done at that moment. Every battle has a strategy. If you use the wrong strategy for any battle, you will never get the desired result for that battle. That was what happened here. Yo, shepherds, the Bible made us to know that he has declared prayers, he has declared fasting. Until when that prophecy come, came to them, and that prophecy said, yes, it is a strategy, but for this particular battle, that strategy will not work. Devise another strategy, and that, the strategy for now is that you need to praise. Have you prayed and nothing has happened? Have you thought of this case of Jehoshaphat, whereby the strategy of prayer and fasting never worked, but the strategy that worked eventually was the strategy of praise? Hallelujah. It was the strategy of praise. Are you into praise and praising the Lord genuinely from the bottom of your heart? Are you into praise, praising the Lord from the depth of your heart? Are you into praise, praising God with every of the totality of your being? When you do that, heaven is open. When heaven is open, God comes down. When God comes down, that situation bow. When that situation bow, everything around you bows with that situation. And you will begin to see the manifestation of the power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise does what prayer cannot do. Close your eyes and let us pray this morning. Father, we thank you for the opportunity of another morning. We thank you for how much you have taught us about praise. Father, wherever we need a new strategy for you to manifest yourself in a new dimension, where we need praise for our battles to be conquered, O oh Lord, reveal unto us. Help us not to pray amiss no more, but for us to praise and to see the hands of God and the presence of God in our situation. Father, we thank you for teaching us a new thing this morning. Your name continually will be glorified. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.